What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Hang Todd video. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're small. If you're not going small, because uh, why not, guys? With the being said, let's get right in. All right, guys. So today's video is based on racing. As you guys know by the thumbnail and the title, today's video is what you need to race. And that door is about to hit that. There it went. Uh, yeah. So what you need to race, basically. Um, there's not that much stuff involved. You don't need that much to race. Um, I thought it was gonna be super hard. The guys have only raced one race, so no professional by any means. But since I've raced one race, I know what I know what like you have to have. Uh, besides like what you you just what you want to have, kind of. So uh, I'm going to get started here. I got kind of all my gear out here right now, along with the four wheeler stuff. So by the way, yeah. guys, you guys are gonna see a video coming on this four wheeler about the install of these dudes right here. Um, so I don't want to show that too much, but we got a few. Uh, upgrades on the four wheeler, not upgrades, but just different stuff that's changed. There'll be a video coming out about that um, sometime. I don't know yet, but I do want to go ahead and stop right here. Give a shout out to the sponsors, guys. Uh, Rocky Mountain ATV MC, guys, go to their website. They will probably sponsor you too because they do this program. It's a program. Um, when you, every time you enter a race, they give you money to spend at their shop. Um, so, and when you sign up or whatever, like you gotta call them whatever. You gotta send them a resume, they approve of you, or whatever. And, uh, then basically after that, they're gonna give you money to start, and then after that, you tell them each race you enter, and they're gonna give you money for each race. So, go check them out. Um, Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Link will be down in the description. Um, Wrath Racing. Uh, they have a ton of parts for four-wheelers. Now, I think their sponsorship deal is already over. Um, so, if you're waiting, if you're gonna get a sponsorship from them, you're gonna have to wait till next year. Uh, but they have parts for, like tons of stuff uh they have a lot of suspension parts they have nerf bars they have grab bars they have um ton of suspension deal stuff so they have a lot of things um another sponsor not really a sponsor guys but go check them out uh hughestechgear.com uh link will be down in the description also uh i haven't actually got uh what they're sending me yet but they're not really a sponsor sponsor but i said if they would like give me something i think they're sending me over a uh what do you call it a uh lanyard so they're gonna give me that and uh so basically i told them if they just give me that you know then go ahead so the link will be in the description for them also they have koozies they have t-shirts sweatshirts uh uh my goodness i keep keep messing up the name of them things the whatever they're called lanyards um they have a ton of other stuff guys so go check them out also uh so those three links will be down in the description and guys big big news this is the biggest news i know it's taking up a lot of the video but i actually have a new website up also um the link will be down in the description for that it'll probably be the first link in the description so go check that out we got all the merch on there right now that's coming that we have we got posters pants um uh sweatshirts we're gonna have some lanyards maybe some stickers up uh, next week, I think, um, we have t-shirts up right now, so we have a couple different things, more stuff will be coming, um, so yeah, I think the lanyards will be here probably next week along with the stickers is what I'm hoping for, so go check that stuff out right now, guys, um, I'm still working on some things, so still trying to get some stuff set up, but right now it's a go, you can go over there and get stuff, but yeah, so remember, Rocky Mountain ATV, Wrath Racing, HughesTechGear.com, all the links will be down in the description, Go get their stuff, it's awesome. But now let's get back into the video. First up, you're gonna need a four-wheeler. Now, it doesn't matter what four-wheeler. You could literally um, enter that little 220 four-wheeler we have over there that's literally the most utility thing ever. Uh, you can enter that in the race. It doesn't matter, you can enter it. As long as it's four wheels. Um, now, a lot of races require a tether kill switch. Now guys, I have one right here. They just mount literally on your handlebars. Then the wire runs this will connect to you like to your racing stuff basically what will happen is this will pull off like this if you fall off uh, that right there will uh and it'll kill your four-wheeler so that way you know it doesn't take off or potentially if it falls on you and it keeps running it won't burn you or something or it won't take off in a, a crowd of people now that is the one thing that's the only thing that's required on your four-wheeler now mine is not hooked up i have one on here but guys the wires literally just ran down into there and it's not hooked up to anything um they don't really inspect it at the one at the race i raced they don't really look at it um so i didn't hook it up because uh, i just didn't so anyways 
that is something you're gonna have to have now like i said they don't like actually go through and check it and make sure now some races they might i don't know but it's just ran down into there so that's one thing i would at least put it on there i mean if you race a race there you have to have it hooked up i'd go ahead and hook it up but if you just have to have it and they don't really inspect it i would just run your wire down through there I wouldn't worry about hooking it up. Now, as for stuff on your four-wheeler, guys, you don't have to have any of these decals. You don't have to have hand guards. You know, you don't have to have uh, these tires. You know, you don't have to have anything like that. Literally, what you're going to want is, though, is if you can look up underneath there, uh, right, right in there, kind of, right up there, is a skid plate. Now, a skid plate, guys, is not required, but you're going to want one. Because if you race... Um, uh, woods racing like trail riding you're gonna want one because there's always roots you're going over rocks um, uh, Trees you're going over not like actual enormous trees, but you know what I'm saying like you'll run over a ton of stuff uh, I would highly recommend getting one my four already had one on it So I don't have to worry about that But if yours doesn't I would probably get one because chances are you're really gonna scratch up the bottom of it Of your motor and stuff. So I would definitely get a skid plate if you don't have one. So that's it's not required Probably, as yeah. for gear um right here guys this is a chest protector um it's literally simple thing ever let me just go ahead. all right right there you go guys the thing is on um it's simple thing you just slide it right over your head and guys this chest protector was about 70 dollars. i'll link all the stuff in the description if you want this chest protector stuff it won't be this exact one basically just like it and all my other gear also so this chest protector guys you're you're gonna want a chest protector because if you fall off, you know, that's gonna save you from a lot of pain if you hit something or if your four wheeler rolls, you know, handlebar crushes you right there or anything. Um, that's really just gonna save you from probably dying. Uh, now, I've fallen off a, quite a few times, you know, and I've never actually got hit uh, by the four wheeler or anything, uh, but that's not the case always. A lot of times, you know, you're gonna get hit by something. So I would definitely recommend one of these. Um, you don't have to have it. Like I said, guys, $70, but it can save your life if you wreck. And chances are you're going to get beat around pretty good. So I would I would probably invest in one of these. This is probably one of the most important parts of guys, yours. One of back them. to the four-wheeler. I have a number on there, Todd 077s, like my number, I guess. I like that number. Um, I don't think you have to have a number. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't think you have to. I just have one because it was like $15 to put that on there. So I just went ahead and did it. Um, I never take it off, so that's uh, just something that I have. You don't have to have it. I'm not, I don't think you do, but you don't have to, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, on the four wheeler, also, I have these hand guards. Now, guys, these hand guards, you're gonna see an install these things in the ne in probably not the next video, but a couple of videos. Uh, these are moose racing hand guards. Now, guys, I did not actually use these, these are for like a mud race, you know, it's gonna cover a lot of your controls and stuff, or for wind purposes. But I run these Power Mad um, hand guards right here. These things were 80 bucks, um, but they're definitely worth it. They've saved me from a lot of tree branches and stuff like that. I would definitely get a set of those for your four-wheeler, but if not, that's fine. But it's going to save you from a lot of pain, like a rock flipping up from another four-wheeler or tree limbs, anything like that. All right, guys, next set of stuff you're going to want is this is required. You cannot go out um, on your four-wheeler in a baseball cap and say, you know, hey, I'm here to race. That's not going to work. you got to have a helmet. Um, I'm like 100. I'm not... I'm gonna say they're required but i'm like 99 percent sure they're required i don't i don't think they'll let you race out a helmet actually i'm positive they won't so guys get a helmet there's no way they're gonna let you go without one because you'd almost be an idiot to try and race without a helmet because that's stupid because there's a lot of stuff that's gonna hit your face um whether it's a tree limb hanging out it's gonna smack you this is gonna help i heard i mean it's gonna save you so I got a GoPro mount on there. You don't need that or whatever. But right here, guys, I have number. That's what they put on my helmet. I have a sticker up here they put on there that they scan for each lap. Then there's another number over there. And then they have my road number on the back, which I took off. But anyways, that's just what you're going to get when you go to the race. Uh, so your helmet does not have to have those on there. They're going to give them to you at the race. Uh, you guys, I would totally recommend a pair of goggles i used to not ride with goggles and i don't know how i did it these are just fly racing goggles i went over to a uh, local power sports i guess store and got these these are 20 dollars uh probably the best investment i've ever made for my helmet uh, these things are insane uh i've had a lot of tree limbs come right here and smack the goggles and if i wouldn't have i mean it would have hurt so bad potentially i ran into this one tree and this tree almost straight at me like this and just Almost nailed it right there. If it would have nailed me, dude, that thing would have took my eye out, I'm sure. Goggles are not a must-have, but a recommended thing. So, 
That's second on the list. Helmet. Yes, and guys, helmet. I probably look like an idiot. I still have this chest protector on, but it's warm, so. Uh, yeah, it's like, dude, we got a lot of snow out there. We got probably like a foot or so. But anyways, next up is going to be a jersey. Now, guys, I went online and just typed in like racing jersey or something like that. I can't remember. This is, let me just get this thing spread out. This is an O'Neill uh, jersey um, right there. Just O'Neill. It's got all this stuff all over it, whatever. Uh, yeah, so literally, you're going to want a jersey probably because you don't want to, you don't have to have one. You can literally wear a sweatshirt. Um, me, I got it just because, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to go out there and just this because, I don't know, I just wanted this stuff. So, uh, here's also an O'Neill pair of pants. I bought these at the set. Right there they are. Just literally, just pants. That's all there is to it. There's not much to explain there. Um, so yeah, those are two things you don't have to have. You can go out there in a sweatshirt, um, and your jeans, but I just have them. That's not a must have. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it because... You can go out there in these right here, uh, but uh, eventually you probably want to get another thing you don't have to have, uh, but I do recommend 100% is gloves. Gloves are a very not important, but they are important. I have two pairs here. This pair I kind of ripped up a lot. I had these for a little bit, and I used them to build a barbed wire fence, and that ended those. But these came with the pants and the jersey these are also just o'neill they're all dirty because i haven't washed them since my last time i raced but just o'neill racing gloves um they're they're a really they're not a must-have yeah no i got my stuff in this basket it's easy to carry but they're not a must-have but they do help a lot um you know they're gonna keep your hands from obviously your hands are gonna get wet and stuff probably if you're going through any type of water but they're just nice to have grippy super nice and grippy Ooh, and might be getting some new grips for the four-wheeler. That might be something coming too. And the seat is getting redone. This is all going to be yellow. Um, and we're going to get that big old duct tape out of there. Getting that taken off uh, sometime, hopefully, coming soon. But anyways, next up on the list. All right, guys. The last thing you're going to want is some racing boots. And, guys, I'm not going to open this box because it's a pain to shut back. Um, but, guys, you're going to want some racing boots. They're not required, but they're definitely going to help. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely something I would recommend, guys. In my helmet. We're getting ready to go check some cows. They're having some calves and stuff. Um, it's 11 o'clock at night right now. But anyways, it's actually 10.30. But you're going to want some riding boots, guys. They're not required, I don't think. Um, but they definitely help. So I would recommend picking up a pair of these. These are about $100 or so, 170 But uh, if you don't, that's all right. But I recommend them. So, guys, hope you're having a great day. Hope you all are smiling. If you're not, don't smile because of it. Why not, guys? With being said, I'll catch you guys on the next Hank Talk video. See ya.